Okay, reporting in on day two of my 10-day juice fast, September 2020. Today was quite a day. I went to a big flea market down in Rutledge, Missouri, and I went prepared with three thermoses full of juice. So that meant before I shoved off, I had the juice, 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 tomato juice, fruit juice, carrot juice, and I also was drinking black coffee. So, okay. But I knew that once you get on the road, especially going to an event like this, which is basically, you know, some of the main attractions would be tacos or just grab a little of this to grab a little of that along the road or at the fair. And it was gonna be, you know, a lot of crowds, a lot of people not like a juice fasting crowd either like not at all and not a juice fasting environment so i i came prepared and I, and i really got through it very well i did get a lemonade a freshly squeezed lemonade from these uh, mennonite or amish vendors and it was real lemons squeezed and of course there was sugar in it but it was very nice and I, I really needed some fair food and that was, you know, the best I could do. And I, you know, it's like I wanted to have a little treat and that was pretty good. And I, I got home. I did well on the drive home. I went to Gary's. It was a long drive and I, and I got home and then I, as I was driving in the car, I poured juice into my glass so that I had enough juice for the, the ride home. And, uh, then, you know, came home, meditated, and then I started juicing again. I actually, I found that I had enough carrot juice, so that I had a big, tall carrot juice, and then I juiced up a mess of tomato juice. And Gary had fresh tomatoes from his garden, which was really nice. So the tomatoes were really ripe, and uh, that was a blessing. And so I got through the day. However, I was... Uh, engaged in watching something that was really exciting and I ended up I I made I wanted to have hot chocolate I didn't have any so I made like a it's a coffee substitute drink and I just wanted to put something like milk or something in it and I couldn't reach the uh, almond milk so I I had an almond milk um, whipped topping that I put on the top so that was sort of cheating but, you know, it was okay. I'm just telling, this is full, you know, this is just the way it went. But I just wanted also to report that when I was at the fair, I was riding on the back of this motorbike. It's kind of like a trail motorbike. And we were, you know, that's kind of how you get around in this, this uh, flea market grounds. It's just really big and a lot of people... Um, I felt really good that I was right sized, you know, that my, at my age, you know, coming up on 70, I'm like sort of a normal sized human being, which in our day and age, at my age, that's sort of an accomplishment, especially for a woman and a man, but very much so women. And uh, it's taken effort and I felt very good in my body. And that's like really really great like I can get on and off the the motorbike like really easily and it's just it's just a blessing and um, that's why I do all this and it just takes a tremendous amount of effort just to hold the line you know it's a battle but um, so this is day two and um, you know tomorrow uh, I, I, I cancel going to church because our friends weren't going to go and for me to do all the juicing before I get on the road for church and get there, it's, it's a big effort. And I just, I'm going to stay home. I think I might exercise tomorrow. That would be really fun. I haven't been exercising and I, I wanted to add that. And uh, so I think I'll do that tomorrow. So that's it. Day two, 10 day juice fast, September, 2020.